Um, arithmetic sequences. An arithmetic sequence is defined by the fact that each successive term in the sequence is found by adding a common difference to each sequence. And the explicit formula for an arithmetic sequence is defined by this. And this is something that you should have learned in IM1. That a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus the common difference d times the quantity n minus 1. Where n is the domain um, made of positive integers and d is the common difference. Uh, the recursive version of this arithmetic sequence would be if I wanted to know what a sub n was and I know what a sub n minus 1 is, then it would just be a sub n minus 1 plus my common difference d. So um, this brings me to this. This is one of my favorite people in the history of mathematics. This is Carl Friedrich Gauss. The reason why I say that he's one of my favorites is because when he was a very young boy, um, and I want to say less than 10 years old, um, he was being disciplined by um, his math teacher. And his math teacher said, Carl Friedrich Gauss, um, I need you to go sit in that corner over there and add up all the numbers from 1 to 100. Well, in just a few seconds, Carl Friedrich Gauss came back and said, ah, here it is. And this is how that story went. This is what he did. Gauss knew that if I took 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus dot 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 98, 99, 100, 100, all the way up to 100 and added those numbers together, that um, it's the same as saying I could do it this way too. 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus and go 100, 99, 98, and look at what we've got. So we're just going to add those together um, backwards. And if I do that, then I really have just created, going straight up and down, 101, 101, 101, 101, and how many 101s do I have? I have a hundred of them. So I have um, I have a hundred of these, and so I've got 100 times 101, um, and I had two rows of all these, and so I, I added up 1 to 100 twice, and so I have to divide it by 2. So it ends up being 50 times uh, 101, or I could say 5 times 1010, and that's 5050. So that's what he handed his, uh, his teacher uh, in a matter of seconds. There it is, 5050. And his teacher just stood there flabbergasted um, for a little while there. Well, th what that developed was this idea right here. Um, I'm going to shrink this down. And we're going to now talk about, what if we were talking about 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus dot, 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 2, n minus 2, n minus 1, and n. And, uh, and did the same thing. So now we've got 1, 2, 3, uh, and n minus 2, n minus 1 and n, and um, we're adding these together, so I shouldn't have put commas here as much as I should have put plus signs. And we add all these together. Well, we end up with n plus 1, and n minus 1 plus 2 is n plus 1, and n plus 1, and n plus 1, etc., etc. How many n plus 1s do we have? We have n of them. So look at what this becomes. This becomes n times n plus 1 divided by 2 because I had two rows of them. And so that ends up being the, um, you know, how we, how we work uh, this if we're just counting by 1s. Well, it turns out then that that same property uh, exists if we were to um, take a uh, sum of an arithmetic series. And so if the arithmetic series was just simply a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus a sub 2 plus, uh, or comma, right? A 
a sub 3 and on and on and on that we could actually say it this way that um, I could take uh, a sub 1 and add it to a sub n and um, multiply that by the number of things that we have and divide that by 2 and so that's really uh, where this formula came from. It was developed by Carl Friedrich Gauss and it is the uh, arithmetic sum uh, of a sequence. So there that is. So here, here we go. We're going to try this ourselves, all right? So we're just going to find the sum of this. And isn't it as simple then as saying 19, 17, 15, uh, etc. Well, if we add these all together, this is 20, this is 20, and this is 20. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I have 10 of them, so it's 10 times 20 divided by 2, and that's just going to be 100. So if I added all these numbers together, I get 100. And that's the answer. So that's how you can do example 5, lickety split. Uh, number 6, this one's adding up everything to n. I actually already identified that for you, so it's just 1, uh, and this is n, and this is n minus 1, and this is n minus 2, so all of these add up to n plus 1 times n. Well, there's n of them, so it's just going to be n times n plus 1, and that divided by 2. So that's the sum of uh, that arithmetic sequence. Now we're in example seven, finding the partial sum of an arithmetic series. And in this particular case, we're finding the 150th partial sum of the arithmetic sequence. So I want to find that these are true, this is truly an arithmetic sequence, and so I'm just going to test for it. I'm going to take 16, I'm going to subtract 5, because those are the first two terms, and I get 11. So if I do the second and third term, I'm going to do 27 minus 16, and I get 11. And just for good measure, let's take those last two. We've got 49, and we're going to subtract 38, and we get 11. So I, there's no doubt in my mind now that D, the common difference, is 11. And we also have the first term, A sub 1, is equal to 5. So I can write then the, uh, the explicit formula, and that's going to be a sub 1, which is 5, and I'm taking um, 11 times n minus 1. Now we're just going to use that, and we're going to say, I want to know what, the a, what a sub 150 is. And so that's going to be 5 plus 11 times 150 minus 1. So 150 minus 1 is 149, and I want to know what 11 times that is, and I'm going to add 5 to that. And so uh, 149 times 11, well that's just taking 149, and we're going to add to that 149 with a 0 at the end. And that becomes a 9. 4 plus 9 is 13. I'll put the 1 up here, and I get 1 plus 1 plus 4 is 6, and I get 100, 1,639, and I'm going to add 5 to that. So when I add 5 to that, I get 1, 6, 4, 4. And so my uh, A sub 150th term is going to be 1,644. So that tells me then that if I use my uh, summation formula, I can say S sub 150 then is going to equal 150 divided by 2 times 5 plus 1, 6, 4, 4. And so if I do that, uh, we're going to just calculate that 5 plus 1,644 1, is 1,649, and that times 150 over 2, which is uh, 75. Uh, let's just get a calculator out, and we're going to say 
75 times 1649 and I get 123,000 675. And there we go. See how simple that was? That's because we understand how to use Gauss's formula. All right, so that takes us to homework. These uh, homework assignments came from uh, the ends of the chapters, um, chapter 11, lesson one, and chapter 11, lesson two. So uh, we did put compile 39 problems for you to do. Uh, they should go fairly quickly, but you've got a lot of time in this uh, you know, shut down situation. Um, so work on those. If you have questions or uh, want to contact me, I'm always available Monday through Friday from 2 o'clock to 3 o'clock. You can enter my uh, study hall and you have the code for that meeting. So good luck and we'll talk to you later.